Hello. Can you all hear me if I put my headset just about two feet away from me? Can you hear me okay? Does the audio sound okay? How does that sound? Okay. Okay, okay. I've got a new desk in my room. Oh, where's my room? Oh. Hi. Okay, Harold, yeah. So, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam, and my channel is about consciousness and spiritual awareness. Um, I've got a new desk in my room, and I quite like it. It's a really nice desk. And um, I've got all my stuff on the desk now, even my YouTube sign that I made. Uh, I can show you it in a second. My Sunday's been, today's been, I've still been in a lot of pain because I'm going for a huge change. I'm going for a transformational process. But I've been busy. I was doing cooking and some guard, well, other, other things. And it, it's, it could have been, uh, it, it's not been bad. Uh, it's not been as bad as compared to other, other days, you know, but then what? What, what is bad, you know, like good and bad are the same. It's, it's the same thing when you're dealing with spiritual, you know, from, a, from a, spiritually speaking, it's the same. So there is no separation. Um, it's been okay. I've been okay. I've been, I've been not bad. Hello from Argentina. Hello. I need to, uh, one second. See, my I've now put my phone over here. So, well, if I talk too much, Stang and Fishing King, I suppose you don't mind if I do this. Blocked. They <laughs> said I talk too much, so 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 I suppose I don't mind if I block them. I suppose they feel quite happy about that. Doesn't bother me. Does me a favor. It's done me a favor. Uh, see, I should put my head. I should put that here. Uh, I should put my. Now what I'll do? Oh, I don't do. It. I'll bring it here. Still leave that light there. But what I'll do, I'll just bring it in closer. Look at that. Now does that look cool or what? Hmm. Hello from Australia. Hello. Yeah, goodbye, Fishing King. <laughs> All right, David. Hello. Some people are fucking assholes, man. <laughs> but I'm an asshole as well. I am. <laughs> I like I like bumping into ass assholes. I really do. Not in that way. Be careful, everyone. I like bumping into dickheads. Because when they thought they were the king, the king of dickheads, they've met me, you know, and I like to think I'm up there as a king or possibly emperor, emperor dickhead. <laughs> I feel like I've met one of my own when I bump into someone like that. It puts a smile on my face.
Hmm. Yeah, you have to be capable, yeah. What's been said in the comments? Oh. How are all that? Follow your feelings, man. You will, you will know. You will know. You will know. Um, I think I might bring that light back over here. Yeah, it's too far away. <laughs> that means I'm going to have to put the light... Maybe I could put it this way. figured it out. I figured it out. What's going on? Imagine freely twin flames. Hello, everyone. Uh, how do I look? I'm really tired. And a part of me can't be fucked. <laughs> but I'm still here. <laughs> Sorry if the I'm not your I'm not your average YouTuber as you can tell, you know, I'm not someone who's saying hit the like button and subscribe every five seconds they're saying that I'm not like that at all. And I'm glad, I'm I'm happy that I'm the way I am, you know. You have to be you. Like the title of this live stream is Be Authentically You. Uh, who's sending me love hearts? Someone's sending me something. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam, and my channel is about consciousness and spiritual awareness. And I do talk about my twin flame journey as well. Uh, oh, You know when you've had a big meal, a big meal, and you just feel so um, tired, you know, that's how I feel. Where's my glasses? Here they are. I think I need to go get my eyes checked again at the opticians. And plus, as well, it didn't help today that I poked my eye with a bit of, with a hoover, like a, a Dyson handheld hoover. The end of it, where the brush bar is, you know, like the edge of the, of the, um, the unit. Imagine it's like that. It's gone straight into my eye, like that. <sighs> Someone's sending me love hearts again. I don't know how long I'm going to be on here for today, because I do feel pretty fati fatigued, pretty lethargic. But I'm still here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Greetings from Belgium. Hello, Dylan. My day's been okay. It's 
Sandra Laggy. I'm not sure I understand your comment. <laughs> but hello anyway from Belgium. All the people that said I'm gay, I've just blocked all of them. Yeah, I know what you mean, Harold, yeah. Hello, Ramazan. Serial designation. Hello, Chris. Hello, Lori. Hello. He's not like the other guy. <laughs> but the people, though, there's two people up there. One said that you look gay, and the other, sec the other guy said, uh, definitely gay or something like that. And so I just blocked them both because I'm not gay. I don't know why that comes up every so often. So, what that comment? Uh, oh, you're in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I've been there. Canada, yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite, my favorite band. They're called Rum Rig. The lead singer of Rum Rig was from Cape Breton. Um, when he sadly passed away, not not last year. Bruce Guthrow was his name. Um, great performer. Hello, Afraj. Hello. I'm in the United Kingdom. My eyes are bad too, I've just got new frames. Hmm. But what makes me laugh is that the people that say I'm gay, which I'm not, I mean, I, t I sometimes take that as a compliment because I get more women talking to me than I do men saying silly things like that. And I, I'm, start I'm starting to gain the, the perception that I'm, un I'm globally desired. I don't know, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> but even if I was gay, which I'm not, so what? You know, it's like, ain't they got better things to insult me with than saying something as stupid as that? I feel like I'm back in school again. I'll talk about Twin Flames afterwards. I'm just letting the live stream load up a little bit. English, Scottish, Irish. Is that, yeah, all three of them I am. Well, I don't consider, I come from the Irish clan Murphy, the Murphy clan, but I've grown up Scottish. I grew up connecting to my Celtic roots through the, through the avenue, avenue, through the pathway of, of Scotland, you know, and Scotland and Ireland are the same. I was trying to, I couldn't, I couldn't pronounce that then. I was, I was going to, I was going to say avenue. Like, as in, through Scotland, I've connected to my Celtic roots, you know. And even though technically I come from the Murphy clan in Ireland, you know, um, Ireland, uh, that is, um, I, I'm a Scot. I lived in Scotland I've, multiple times. I've tried, I've commuted, I've gone up there over the years, back and forth. Yeah, um, I've got a lot of love. My heart is in Scotland, uh, um, I love the Celtic language there, the Gaelic language. I love it. Uh, so yeah, thanks, Laurie, for asking me that. But I'm born in England orig originally, and people sometimes ask me like, "Where's your accent from?" You know, you got a nice voice, and I say, "Yeah, it's it's an English and Scottish thing. It's a Celtic thing." Love your dark eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Great guy, Bruce Guthrie. Absolutely. He was an absolute legend. I spoke to him once. Uh, when I, well, when I say spoke to him, he... I, we, we, we spoke on Facebook. Um, I'm just blocking people now. I'm ruthless, I am. If I get any silly comment whatsoever, like, when I say silly, 
I will just block. My my so my name is Sam, and I do speak about consciousness, like who we are, um, why are we here? You know who we are fundamentally. With everything spiritual energy, you know, and the correct word to use is consciousness, which is those two words combined. That's the correct word to be spoken about in terms of everything, including including yourself. That it, it's the same. It's the same stuff, consciousness, um, and sp so spiritual awareness is what I speak about, you know. Julian, whereabouts are you from, Julian? Gillian, sorry. Um, Julian. <laughs> See, I can't read. I need to put these glasses back on. <laughs> I have got another pair of glasses. Some are they there? Um, I've got the. I've got. Oh, you're from Dubai. I've got these, and then I've got these more expensive ones. Hello, cutie. And I've got these Lyle and Scott ones. These designer. They both. They're both designer. I've got Lyle and Scott, and I got Converse. The converse ones are the round ones. These are like a hexagonal shape. I think I might wear these ones tonight. I've not worn, worn these in a while. I think I might give these a go tonight and wear these for a little bit. Cool glasses. Thanks a lot. Dubai. Okay. My, my brother's been there twice. I'm okay, QT. Thank you. I moved here a few years ago from the US after my divorce. So whereabouts are you originally from in the, in the US? And how old are you? Thank you, cutie. Maybe we're our distant relatives. We both have Murphy in our lineage. You never know interest in how we meet people on our paths. Somewhere along the line, yeah. If you if it goes back to Ireland, David, we relate. Yeah, we are. We're all one. But you, but you, yeah. But I see what you're saying. Yeah, we are distant relatives. Yeah. Possibly, maybe. Yeah. Patty says you're cute. Patty. Thank you. Little town in Indiana. I'm 34. Oh, okay. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> I ask because I, I, I like to get a, uh, a I like to gauge how what my audience is like. Like because uh, most of the time, because on my YouTube app on the on the YouTube Creator app. It's not the ordinary YouTube app that you use to go on YouTube. It's another app to go and see your channel, to see all the st statistics on your channel and all, and all that shit. And on there, it come up saying that the most, the bit that it's all ages who watch me. Honestly, it's all ages, man. But the main bracket is like the 24 to 34 year old bracket of people. Or, or 25 to 35 or something. I think I think they go, yeah, 25 to 35. Then there's 35 to 45, you know. 
It's mainly in like the people that are in between the ages of twenty five and forty five who watch me. Hmm. But there are people in their for their late forties, their fifties, sixties. There's people, there's teenagers, early twenties. There are, you know, there there are, you know. It makes you the average, yeah. QT says she's twenty nine, has two kids. Mr. D. Giles. Hello. I've recently got a new table, right? What I've done, I found we got, I got this table today. Uh, it's like a it's like a, it's like a lovely um, like work table, you know, like a like a, a, a like a, a what would you call it? Like a, a workstation table, you know, something you know that you would have a laptop on. And so I got this today off of a, off of, off of a local group that gives stuff away to people. And uh, I got it for free, and I thought I'll have some of that. Put my I've put my uh, set up on there, you know my. Uh... My uh, my YouTube setup is on here. My little Fallout man is here, and uh, even my. Uh... It's all here. It's all here. An office desk, there you go, sorry. I can't think properly today, my head's up my arse, sorry. Nice table, How? I got it for free. Hello Rita, how, hello, how are you good sir, hello uh, D Giles. Hello, yeah, I'm well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm okay, yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm purging, I've still got pressure on my body, I've got emotions coming up. Uh... Because people who know me by now on my channel know what, what I'm going through. I'm healing. I'm going through a change. And it's been happening happening for a couple of years now. And it's just the best way to describe it to, for people that don't understand this is like it's like an emotional purge. But that is what it is. It's a belief purge. And it's like, well, not to be rude or graphic, but it's like emotional constipation. It was so powerful as it came up with inside of me. It you feel it, it's too much for your nervous system to handle in one session. So it, 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 it's it, it's then from that day onwards a process of slowly dissipating. You know, that's what I've been going through because it's part of my spirit. Spirit, it's a spiritual thing. You know. Yeah, I'm single because I'm I'm healing. I am healing. I'm not dating or doing nothing. I can get that pressure going on you. <laughs> Listen, ladies and guys, for anyone here listening, I don't. I've not come on here to date or, or or to do any of that. I'm not. I thought that's not why I'm here. You know, I come on YouTube to to talk about my journey. You know. Um, I choose love, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm in, I've been in pain, I am in pain, and I'm just uh, processing my pain, and in the process, I feel like I'm helping other people share my message and speak my truth and be authentic, you know, um, but I, 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 there's no harm in having a little joke and a flirt and that every so often, but listen, it's purely, there's no intention in it at, at whatsoever, I won't, I won't go anywhere, I won't, I wouldn't, uh, there's no going any further than that, you know. I'm not because someone asked me, "Am I single?" You know, like, well, yeah, I am because I'm not. I'm not interested in doing. It doesn't like do, at the end of the day, the, the inner inner peace is is where is is exactly exactly so. It's in it's inside. It's inward. You know. That's all I care about. You know, I, I choose love. You know. Yeah, free is the best price. What it is, is, I don't know if they've got these in where you live, whoever, wherever you live in the world, whoever's watching me. But where I live, there's a group, and they call it an eco 
group eco, right? As in upcycling, free stuff, free stuff like gift gifting. They gift stuff to other people for free, for free of charge. Everything's free on there. I've gave loads of stuff away on there, but then equally, I've, t- I've had a lot of stuff from the group. The table is one, the new addition. I've had furniture, I've had electronics, you name it. It's 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 all free. Like put it this way, every single day someone's giving away on there a free uh, sofa or couch, as they call it. I think in America they call you call it a couch. We call them sofas here, like where we live. You know, or settees, a settee, or you know, sofa, sofa bed, dining tables, or what, anything you name it. Like uh, like appliances, like you know, lawn, you know, what. Whatever, like kitchen stuff, microwaves, kettles, plates, cutlery, um, free plants, like horticultural stuff. You name it, like people put it on there for free. And that's how it, 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 it that's how it perpetuates. It's a self perpetuating machine, if you want to call it that, like this Facebook group where everyone gives to people for free. It creates a sense of community in the community. So where they get stuff for free, they then give stuff for free because they've had stuff. Give and receive. It's a give and receive group, and it's totally up my street, literally and me- metaphorically. It's uh, straight up my. It really. And I'm in harmony with that principle. I and mean, ever since I started getting giving stuff away for free, and then getting stuff for free. Good quality stuff, like good quality stuff, you know. Some of it's new, it's brand new, it's not even been opened, like, it depends what it is. Um, I found it weird when I went back to sell something one time. When I went after, so basically, after all that time of getting free, when I eventually went back somewhere like Facebook Marketplace or, or eBay or somewhere like that where I tried to sell something, I felt really strange because where I was so used to giving stuff away for free. It just felt a bit odd, but obviously, if I want to charge someone something, I'll charge them. But if I want to, most of the time, I, most of the time, I just give stuff away for free on that group, and it's a great group, and it's a beautiful place. And I just wanted, to, I just want to know if anyone wherever you live, do you have that? Do you have something like this? It's a Facebook group, so you type in the name of your area. I don't know. So let's just, I don't know, like what your area could be. Let's just say you live in, like in America, or you live in, I don't know, like Boston. Or something like that, and let's just say there's a place in Boston called. Um, I'm gonna quote Back to the Future here, Hill Valley, <laughs> Hill Valley. Yeah, I know that's not a real place, like where well, probably is in America, America somewhere, but Hill Valley in Boston. Yeah, I know that's not accurate. I'm just making this up. It's, it's an example. So let's just say that was a real town in Boston. Yeah. You'd go on the Hill Valley Boston Facebook. There'd be a Facebook group for that particular town in that city. Yeah. So, you, but you'd have to type it in on Facebook to see if they have one, and most likely they will. And then it's it, and then it's called the Hill Valley local group of locals. You know, it's like that. But then there should be a in, the, in somewhere in, either in that group or another group with the same name, but with an additional side. Or extra part on on the name, it will say swap free stuff or for giveaways or free stuff or, or something like that. And that's exactly what then what that group would be about. You know, it would be there for giving stuff away. And I'm assuming they've got them in America. They've probably got them in most countries. These 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 groups I'm talking about. Uh, Hill Valley. <laughs> I'm not going to hear the end of that now. Back to the future. I don't really play video games, um, Jay, but I do. Fall out. You know, because my little man. Hello from Russia. Hello. My daughter is Cosmic Kitty. Who's Cosmic Kitty? I don't know who that is. Oh, yeah, I think I might have seen her name, yeah. Uh, have you felt an energy shift due to the upcoming eclipse? Yeah, I have. 
I have, David. We're speaking about that yesterday and even the day before. It's shifting things about, and the best thing to do is to not question and be too, too analyt- analytical about it. You have to just say, I'm surrendering to this. I'm not wasting my time thinking about what it's shifting or to the extent of what it's shifting. I'm trusting that it's bringing me into a higher version of me. It's expanding my consciousness. It's bringing up wounds. It's helping me shift. It's shining the feminine. That the moon is associated with the feminine polarity. It's shining down on me to help me bring out my darkness. So it's going to trigger me into into allowing an an opening to open up within me to you know to allow this some of this energy to move to get moving to shift. Point I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that. Yeah, it is affecting the planet. It does. That's what it's supposed to do. It's here to purify our consciousnesses. So, yeah, it is. But don't question it. Just I know a lot of people want to question it. Just allow it. You'll find out afterwards what it's shifted. You will, you will know about what it's done. You'll find out. Howdy, yeah. Cutie says, I'm going to sleep. It's almost night here in Belgium. Well, how many people people from Belgium are messaging me? Hello, yeah, Cutie, yeah. Thank you, Cutie, yeah. See you next time, yeah. Hmm. Not much of that in Dubai. I miss the thrift stores and yard sales, yeah. Hello from UK. Tesco. <laughs> I've got a Tesco bag down there, look. <laughs> Back to the future. Big up from Australia. Yeah. Oh, hello, Nicole. I've not seen you in a while. I refuse to. That doesn't sound good, that noise. <laughs> oh. Shh. Oh. Sorry, everyone. I'm just trying to get this camera to fucking sit right. <laughs> I don't really feel these glasses tonight. I don't feel it. I want to wear my other one. I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. Let's pick up the old ones. Yeah, that's better. Craigslist used to be like that, but many scammers took over. <laughs> well, this place that I use is a good place. I mean, are there any scammers on there? If there are, they get caught pretty quickly. It's being monitored all the time. They can't take over this Facebook group. It won't. I don't think it would ever happen. Not on this group that I'm on. It's 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 like lockdown. You can't you can't piss about on it, which is good because it helps it helps the continuation of the, the group to, you know, it helps it to continue. I'm really grateful for it. It's a great group. It's a really good group. 
put it this way if I had an, an empty an empty flat which is what we call an apartment here I don't know why they call it a flat here a flat a flat what a what flat what what does that mean a flat they call it they call them flats which is an apartment you know and that's an American term and I actually prefer that apartment you know anyway so if I moved into an apartment here and it was empty no furniture in there whatsoever nothing all I'd, if I wanted to do, I could put up an ad, an ad or post on this group and say to everyone, I've got no furniture, I've just moved into a new apartment. Can everyone help out and throw some stuff in? Your message box will explode, honestly. There'll be, throw, there'll be people coming forward to help you. It's really cool, honestly, it's really good. They're giving things away all the time. They give them so sofas and couches, like every day there's one on there, or armchairs, everything, tables. It's a really good site, you know. I'm very thankful that I'm on there, you know. I've given loads of stuff away. I've given some really good stuff away. purging all the time like for people that know me they know that it's still going on and I've noticed a shift I did notice it within the last week and a half I did notice a different it would got it got really intense it did and I'm feeling without proving this to everyone now but I, when I say like when I say I know that this process I'm, I'm experiencing is going to come to an end soon I'm referring to inner union. I can feel it shifting within me. It feels different. I can. F it's still painful, but it, it it just feels. I suppose what it is. I'm actually integrated a lot more, but even though there's still some pain there, it's hard to sometimes measure or give a precise. Um, analysis of self, you know, to see what. To, but in you know, simply saying that, even though I'm in pain, I am. I've I've healed a lot. A lot, you know, and this retrograde or whatever you call it that's going on, I don't fully understand it, but I know that last year's one that definitely affected me. I felt that affect me so much that retrograde um, and this year I, I only found out that there was another one again I can feel it I, I, I can definitely feel that the energy that was so intense there was it was really intense where I live um, it seems to quieten down a little bit actually hmm Nicole says, crazy ascension symptoms, no food, just water, a few hours of sleep, amazing how the strong the body is through it all, yeah, it's trying to purge, or it's trying to, I know what you mean, Nicole, I know everything, everything you just said there, I, I understand what, what, what you're talking about, that's too bright, that light, and i poke something in my eye earlier and that's not helping. I think I'm gonna just gonna turn that light off. Sorry, Al, you might not see me with the light on tonight. But it shouldn't be a problem, I suppose. I'm looking forward to my sleep tonight, that's for sure. I seem more like I'm spaced out, don't I? I seem, cause it's because I'm so mentally exhausted and emotionally, because I'm my body's letting go of old energy, it makes you feel um, so fatigued, like it's unbelievable. It almost, it almost feels like I'm drunk. Do you feel that way, Nicole? Do you or anyone here? Is anyone here purging? I think there are a couple of ladies here, like Astral Lady and Ada. Ada, isn't it your name? Ada. 
Anyone else? Anyone else here going for a spiritual awakening? Or anyone else purging old their old consciousness away? It's, it's what's known as purging, where it rises within within your your old belief systems, and it's coming out to be cleared. It, want, it wants to be released. That's purging. It's what it's what people in this community, like spiritual communities, call what like energetic purging. It makes you the only uh, a simple way to describe how I feel. It, it's like I'm drunk. It makes you feel drunk. Like honestly, you know, like the sensation of when you've had a few alco alcoholic drinks, and you feel a bit, um, you feel a bit wobbly. Um, it's like that. It's like that sort of jet lagged, drunk, or combination of the two. It's like a jet lag and drunk feeling. An overall, an overall feeling of being. It feels like that. I feel like that every day. Every day, every single day, because it's the energy that's being purified at a subconscious level, that's being transcended. It's being pushed up into my conscious awareness. For me to face it and acknowledge it. That's how powerful it is where it's leaving me feeling drunk. And exhausted. That's how it gives you an indication of how how strong the healing process is, you know, that's, un that, that, that's undergoing, you know. You want to move to Portugal? Hmm. Idaho, Gavin Pruitt, hello. Are you related, Gavin, to Katie Pruitt, the singer, the, the southern, the, the country girl who lives down in the south, or well, she's from the south somewhere, I don't know where exactly. But just thought I'd ask, because you had the same surname. Looking forward to the eclipse. All right, Harold, no problem. You look good with either. <laughs> hmm. Go to sleep, brother. <laughs> I will be going soon, yeah. Soon. Been through Idaho, I'm from Colorado. Hmm. Where do you live now, David, though? Where do you, where do you, I can't remember where you said you live. We and you need to talk when at some point. I know I've been, we've, 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 we mentioned it before, but I've just not had the time, David. I've been, I've, my head's been up my ass, you know, and I've been purging, I've been trying to do other things. And it'd be nice to speak to you one time, it would. Flats because one floor but not a bungalow. Well, I'm British. Like I've I've been here thirty years of my life, and I've always heard the term flat, flat, flat. You know, are you buying that flat? Are you are you renting that flat? And I, it's a British term that's in the British vocabulary, and I've never understood what it means. It doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense to me. It don't make no sense. But right. Hmm. Because one floor, but not a bungalow. Whatever, although it's because they point to a tower block here, a tower block, and they call them flats. And there's not just one floor, there's like 20. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. 
Anyway. Laurie says I'm 58. Hello? I used to live in Turkey and they called it a flat too. Here in America, it's an apartment, yeah. Yeah. See you later, Harold. Yeah. There, there's that fantastic proof there are still good people out there. Yeah, there are. And I know there is. I don't watch the news. I don't watch mainstream media. I don't watch, watch any of this bullshit. Because it's just a system of thought. It's just constant negative news and only focusing on the bad things to the world. And that, which they call worthy of the, or new worthy of being, you know. But they, they, it's completely leaving out 99.9999999999% of all the good stuff that's going on in the world, you know. It's just, um, I don't want nothing to do with it because it's, it's, it's part of the matrix. I'm not watching it. It's a system, it's a system and I don't, I'm, I'm not interested in it. I'm not trying to shut them down by any means. I'm just saying that I don't watch it, you know. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of good people. There are good things going on in the world. Kindness spreads. Yeah. Healing takes time. I will go back to the US someday, but I have to be me again first. Yeah. My eyes are fucking really weird. This eye is better than... Just test in my eyes. Huh. This is the eye that I injured slightly earlier. It's a bit sore. Oh, I think that makes it worse when I put these on. No, I should be all right. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. It's a really good site because not that I would abuse it, I don't, but I'm just saying that people have asked for things. They've not they've not put things on there to say I'm giving this away, you know, come and collect, you know, today. It's not just that, it's people put requests on there and say, Can I, has anyone got one of these? It could be so as simple as, um, does anyone have a USB cable for this product, this appliance, you know? And I once went on there and saw that request and I said, yeah, I've got, I've got loads of them. I'll give you, I'll give you one. They came and got it. It's like that. Uh, yes, I feel like a daze, yeah, yeah, Nicole, yeah. It's horrible, isn't it? But no one will understand you unless they're going through it as well. But the upside to this, and don't forget the positive side of all this, when I say positive, but the, the purpose is the purification. It is. It's making you, it, it's bringing you into high levels of consciousness, you know. It's bringing you closer to source, well, when I say closer to source, it's bringing you um, into a recognition of your higher self more. It is. It's releasing old energy so, it's, so it makes you more conscious. That guy, Matthew Pallet, who I've mentioned before, who speaks about the Kundalini process, he's really good. He really gets the process. He really gets... It's different for everyone, how they deal with it and that, but 
he understands it though. He, he he's talking from a place of knowing, you know. I've been purging for months, yeah. David says, yeah, I've been purging for like a few years now. Like it's been almost two and a half years. I said, you know what? I'm not even counting anymore. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. None of it. I need to put this. I might bring this over here. I miss having my light here with me, so I might bring it back. Oh, you bastard! Oh, oh you little bastard! Hold on a minute. I'll do this. Like that. What's it gonna look like now when I do this? Oh man, I look so tired. I even sound tired. That speaking. <laughs> All right, don't be a, don't don't blow, don't be amazed if I look really shit and shattered. Or do I? I like to tease people. I do, but I'm only doing it for fun. Oh. But yes, Nicole, I I understand. Oh, hello, Maria. It does. It makes you feel confused, drunk. Like you don't feel conscious of. You don't feel present. You don't feel present in the moment because you're. You're going, for, you're going for an upgrade, and where it's trying to release the old energy, you feel, it feels like you're stuck in a room, for, for, and, and, and in that room there's like loud music that's being blared, it's being, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like a metaphor of how to describe it is, you're in a room, and it's like it, you're just surrounded by loud music and you're, you can't get out of the room. It's like that. But that's just an illusion. It's just, I know that wasn't the best way to put it, but it's like you're stuck in a, it's, it's like you're in a pressure cooker, cooker and you're confused and you're daisy and you're, it's like that. Mm. Yeah. I'm a nice smoke of vaporizer, but only just to keep me a bit stimulated. You know what I mean? I don't need it. I can quite. Fr I can throw the thing away. I won't care. Indigo, hello there. So hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Um. <laughs> My name is Sam and I speak about consciousness and spiritual awareness. I'm, not, I'm a bit tired today. Apologies for people that have just joined me. I'm a little bit tired, but hopefully I can wake up a little bit <laughs> so, to speak to my audience here. But I am answering questions as I go along. So. Keep seeing 111-222-333, yeah. That's a sign that you're, you're coming into a union with yourself, like, even, even if it's in a slow slow way it's a, it's a, to me I see it as a sign that you're on the right path it's a spiritual wink like a nudge from the universe that you're coming into harmony with higher spiritual truths per pertaining to your being you know which is the ultimate being there is you're waking up or you're you're very slowly You're coming into alignment, even if it's like in a really insignificant, slow way. It's a sign that you're on the right path. Like you're being guided, you know. You're as in you're in alignment. You're coming into alignment with. Uh, it could be a one, a particular spiritual thing, or 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 everything. I don't know. I, I can't say, but I see it as a sign that we're on the right path.
and I woke up today again at 11.11. I woke up, the first thing I saw on my phone was that time. That happens every, it happens almost every day. It's like that. It's like, it's not an accident. And people say, yeah, they've tried to explain that away with some like weird pseudoscience saying, yeah, it's just memories in the brain and memories are not in you. But that's another st- story for another day. I'm, I'm not getting into that. Um, everything's consciousness and consciousness is not what the, the science that you believed growing up it is. It's an idea of how, how we operate. It doesn't mean it is the truth how, how we operate. Um, well, consciousness is not in your brain. Definitely not. It's the other way around. Brain, your brain is in consciousness. The body is in consciousness. The mind is within consciousness. Um, it's completely up opposite. Uh, but anyway, um, where was I with all this? Oh yeah, reoccurring numbers. So they've tried to say that it's just your brain remembers when it is. Bullshit, is it? Fucking bullshit. How, how would my brain be able to tell me, uh, 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 you know, but how would my brain be able to, like, remember at that exact moment when, when that time's going to appear on the clock, you know what I mean? Fucking, it's just, um... But I get 11-11 all the time. Mm. Glenn, Glenn Harrison said, Oh, Vixen says, You're so cute. <laughs> Is it true, if you don't know physics, you can't understand positive and negative energy? Just as a question, because I can't understand body language just as, just as a completely normal question. You don't need to understand physics to understand positive and negative energy. You don't need to be a, phys- uh, you don't need to be a physicist. You can be, is, is, this is a spiritual thing. You'll be able to understand consciousness and energy, like which is spiritual energy. That's what consciousness is, and we are consciousness too. Your consciousness of what you think and feel is manipulating the, the only substance there is. But again, which is consciousness, um, and what you call negative or positive energy, it's not. Um, you don't need to be a physicist. You don't have to become a phys- physicist to be able to understand it. If you are a physicist and you talk about creation through a system of thought known as quantum physics, which is a system of thought, but the truth goes beyond systems of, of thought. Um, but they're they're starting to confirm a lot about a lot of what the spiritualists have said anyway. So. It's all good. It's good that we're coming into harmony with each other. Brothers in arms, as they say. Um, but I don't really understand your question, Glenn, really. Um, maybe I've answered it. I don't know. I don't really answer it. It wasn't really clear what you were trying to say. Um, Edward Lee says, Hi, my speakers are broken, so I can't hear. But your hair looks really good. <laughs> Thank you, Edward. Hasty says, hi, Sam. Hello. Are you in Denver, Colorado? If I'm ever in that part of the world, David, I'll be sure to ask if I can come and see you. Uh, what causes this purging event? I'm new to all this information. The purging is, is, is triggered by a spiritual experience, like a... Um, a profound experience, which is, which is a spir- it's linked to a spiritual purpose even if you're not aware of it you might not even be spiritual this can happen to people that 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 might class themselves as being atheists 
and then they have a spiritual awakening take place. Their kundalini energy gets awakened within them. That that then starts to bring up all the old conditioning that was locked into their being. So it's a purification process. So we bring out all that stuff from the bottom. Like it brings out from the base of the spine. When I say base of the spine, it starts at the base of the spine, and it's it just sort of mines. It data mines all that old energy that was not in harmony anymore, that wants to be chucked out, so to speak, to, to be cleared. It brings up all that stuff and it pushes it up into like it morphs it into like one ball, ball, and it brings it up, and you can literally feel like a ball of energy moving around your body. So like, that's why people call it a snake. It feels like a snake going up your spine. Um, which is just this ball, ball of consciousness that's coming up to be cleared. But how resistant you are to the process is all the is, is, is the key question here. Because the more awareness you've got of self, and especially that process, the Kundalini process, that is, you, you'll get through it easier. It's when you've got lack of awareness on it, which is when you're really going to suffer. I, um, and, and as I was saying, there's atheists or people out in the world who you've got no spiritual insight. They don't know who they are. They've got no spiritual experience or, again, or any awareness of self. They're just purely going on survival and purely going on like what the Matrix has told them who they, told them who they are. You know? And uh, they'll have a spiritual event happen to them but they won't know it's spiritual they'll have a like a, an, an energetic purge take place whether it's kundalini or not it could happen in other ways you don't have to be going for a kundalini or you can, um and they get looked at like their relatives like they've gone crazy or gone mad when they've not they've just they're just having a very fierce purge of old energy that's risen risen up within them and it does from the outset the outside it looks like they've gone it can look like they've gone what people call mad but, but then you know that's not really fair to say that because it, it they've not gone mad they've just they've just got a lot of old energy that wants to come out and it, you know it, it can leave them frustrated it can leave them being very sensitive They've got thoughts and feelings. They can hear thoughts like that are coming from their own consciousness. It's them. They're not hearing voices. That's not the same thing. I wasn't saying hearing voices. I said that you get thoughts, you get feelings. They just flood into your awareness. It does make you feel pretty. Like it does make you feel like, in 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 nicest way of saying this, it does make you feel like you're going a bit mad. Yeah, a bit crazy. But it's but you're not. You're not. You haven't gone crazy. You know what I mean? It's not the same. Um, it's not the same thing. Uh, it's just that you're going through like a transformation. That is actually what it is. We shouldn't lose sight of that. You know, it's not uh, a bad thing. It's actually a blessing. It's designed for you to to wake up, to awaken to self more, to become more conscious of self. So I hope that's answered your question, Mary. I mean, in some roundabout way. I mean. I've gone through all this process now because of meeting my twin flame. That's why I'm here. For good purpose though. Hello from Brazil, Jack, hello. Hello everyone. I have to put this air nasal dilator up, up my nose. I can't breathe properly, my nose is congested. I'm putting this up my nose, everyone. So if you see something up there, it's this. It's a very good device. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I just feel congested today. Someone once said to me, you look like you got a nose ring in. I went, yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? Very funny. Cute. One day I'll travel to England, yep. Yeah.
Free cycle, yeah, yeah. It's like that. It's like that, but just our Facebook group, but for the local area. I've never seen another group like it. I mean, I'm surprised. Now thinking about it, I'm surprised it exists. Like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a blinding group. Like, you know, blinding meaning amazing. It's an amazing group, you know. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So I'm purging right now. I can't remember who yesterday was saying to me about popping noises in the head. It's that energy, you know, I'm talking about that ball that moves, it's constantly pushing around that old information because it's trying to release it. I just had a pop inside my head, right? Because it's. Uh, the truth is, everyone, is that even though I'm in pain, I know that I've, well, I've been with this process for so long, I know that I know what's happening to me. So I, I essentially I'm saying that I've got to that point now where I, I have like I have surrendered. I, I I I have. I really know that it's doing it to bring me into, into union with self. I know what this is. It makes you like just say I do what you have to do to me, like as if you're speaking to yourself, you, you get you don't just surrender, you say you get to that point where it makes you let go of the illusions that you had within your being, it, it won't, it, surrendering is not, like, the ego don't like it, because the, the, cause that's what the ego, you know what I mean, it doesn't like that, um, but then this is transcending the ego, and it makes sense why the ego wouldn't like you to let go, because it's tried to attach itself to everything in physical reality, based on the beliefs, you know, the conditioning, to external reality, you know, your spiritual awakening or your purging process is, is making you let go of the physical reality. It's making you detach. So that means your your old sense of self or your ego has to be gone as well. It needs to be per, uh, purified. Yeah. Adrian Johnson, hey, are you British? Fuck off, John. You're getting blocked. There are some dicks, man, on this YouTube sometime. Sarah says, are you British? Yes, I am. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> I was like, just thinking about that guy just then. I want to tell you something. American football, soccer. Well, I don't watch either of them, even so what we call football here, which is what in America is called soccer. But I don't watch it. I don't watch it anyway. Hello, Angelique. Hello, Peter. Mr. Anderson. Welcome back, Mr. Anderson. All right, Gillian. Oh yeah, you're Dubai, aren't you? You're in Dubai, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, Dubai, yeah. Windy rain. Hello. Wow, I've got thirty people in the live stream, and I'm not even aware of it. Sorry, everyone. I'm a bit tired. Apologies. My name is Sam, and my channel is about consciousness and spiritual awareness. I speak everything us and and twin flames. And no, before you ask it, I'm not. I've got nothing to do with that cult that them twin flame uh, people that were from YouTube were associating. You know, they're they're a bunch of con artists. I've got nothing to do with that. I am genuine. And 
people that have been with me on my channel from the beginning, they know that. Yeah, I've got nothing to do with them. That cult of Twin Flame Universe or whatever the fuck they're called, I've not got nothing to, to do with them. They've taken something which is a genuine phenomena, a true beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing, and they've just twisted it into their own little package. They've repackaged it and sold it to people as this uh, bullshit thing. Um, and that, that's not what I am uh, or, or I'm doing. Okay. Whew. Glad I got that out of the way. <laughs> um, and I talk about consciousness in it from every perspective because we are consciousness. We are what we, truthfully, we're not your ego sense of self that you think you are, which is a set of beliefs and it's information. And you know, the word, the, even the name, your name is not, you're not your name. That's a word that's been given to this set of information that you that you call you, and in, in and to the body, you know, to the, the separate self that you call Sam or whoever your name, whatever your name is. That is, but as long as you continue 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 to see yourself as what I just said, I am this separate um, person with this separate name, and you know. And, and that's with all these subconscious beliefs that are the, the information that's driving you that makes you feel that separateness so it reaffirms it for you you're you're going to be stuck in the matrix you're stuck in this, this false sense of self and you don't even know it's a false sense you you don't know you don't know you're sending me love hearts And um, we're pure consciousness. We're not the limited sense of self or this ego um, limited consciousness. We are unlimited consciousness. We are pure consciousness in truth. We are the awareness that is that is the I am. I am. I was really zoning in on that. I was really zoning in on the feeling of that word earlier. I am. I am. I really had this profound. Oh, I just had it just now. I really had that. I am. I can feel it. I don't shiver. Got. My, I can feel the. Oh, I am. I am. I am. I can feel it now. It's amazing what I'm feeling. The vibration going up through through me. I am is pure awareness, and it's where your awareness, where your awareness is, is where your true nature is. I am this. So whatever you say I am to, you got to remember that is whenever you say I am, you're being present. Because anything in the very nature of the words I am, that means you're being aware in that present moment and the present moment is all there is. Why is my hair going like that? My hair go weird. <laughs> anyway, fuck off. Sorry, everyone. I'm messing about with my hair. So, um, yeah. So I'll read some more comments. <laughs> I don't know what twin flame. Uh, listen to Sam talking about it, I'm new to all this. Most of my Twin Flame understanding and journey and explanation of it, of my, or my offering of what I've been experiencing is on my videos. For the last sort of six months of my, on this channel, I've been doing live stream, live streaming. <laughs> Apparently, my nostrils. Someone said that my nose looks like a heart or something. Like you see this bit here, the tip of my nose. When I leaned my nose up, they said that this looks like a heart. 
and then I cracked a joke with that person. I said, I said, I said the reason why I love to joke with people all the time. I said the reason why my nose looks like a heart is because I can smell love in the air. You know, <laughs> I just always making fun of people's comments. You know, I just, I just like doing it. It's just the way I am. I suppose I'll, I'll never grow up. I don't know. I'll never grow up. I don't know. I might, I might grow old, but I'll never grow up. No, I've not watched that documentary yet. What's it called again? Gene... What's it called? Um, Because I should watch it, because it's something that that I probably would like, um, because I like watching seminars on people talking about consciousness and that. What's it called again? Um... I can't think. Tell me what, what it was again. Uh, GT. Tell me what it was. Sorry. Uh, Knox Perkins. Yeah, I remember you. Night, night, uh, Ada. Yeah. Sleep is so rest, rest, restored restorative, is that the word? It's, it's restoration when you sleep. It does heal the physical body. Because well, Do you know why? Because when your consciousness is not, uh, when your belief system is not being triggered by the external, because it mirrors to you what your your your, conscious, your consciousness is. The three-dimensional world is a re- reflection of your consciousness. It is how you feel about yourself as you think if in your heart, what you believe about yourself, the, 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 like, as in the life you're living, the, the, the relationships you're in, the house you're in, the money you earn, the abundance that you've got, everything is tied into your sense of uh, your belief system. So what it is is that the 3D world is, is, a, is a mirror of your consciousness. Now, if, you, if you've got low vibrational consciousnesses within you, as in you're very, uh, as in you might be a very... Uh, worryful person, you're worrying all the time and you think negative thoughts all the time, you're very fearful or whatever. You step on eggshells or your whole life, you know, you fight into it, you know. Um, that is being, until you change them beliefs, you'll keep reaping what you sow, right? Again, because it's talking about consciousness. When you go to sleep at night, when your awareness is somewhere else, you're walking through a forest somewhere, like in this dream state. You're not identified with the limiting beliefs, are you? Do you know what I mean? You're not feeling that like you're the same person. You feel it's different when you're in your dream world, you know, the dream state, which is not. Even saying the word dream makes it sound like a joke. It's not. It's just a different state of consciousness. We call it dreams, but it's not. Because when people say the word dreams, they associate that with like nothing. Oh, it's just a dream, you know. That, that you know that they say it, they see it as a. This, this is the thing. Growing up, everyone, until you spiritually awaken, growing up. In life, all you're taught about yourself and the world is through the matrix. You're, everything about health, the medical system, like spiritual, anything to do with spiritual stuff's been absolutely vandalized or been hijacked because of religion and other things it's not just religion it's other things you talk loads of superstition about the true nature of spirit and which is you, you, you we're taught this these shitty ideas about what it is so even in terms of things about dreams and you know like our physicality and uh, uh, what the universe is and you know we're told all bullshit we are told absolute bullshit, and you won't know that until you're genuinely waking up spiritually, like, and you'll laugh. You'll you'll remember what I've said on this live stream, and you will remember what I've said. There are a few people here right now who know what I'm actually talking about, like Peter and other, a couple of other people. You already know what I'm trying to get. At, yeah, we're fed ideas about what things mean. But what you've got to remember is that these things that we're being told about and how they're being told to us is not actually the true answer. 
<laughs> it's not actually the accurate or fundamental truth. It's just uh, so when you know all your life when you think about dreams, most people see it as nothing. Like they see it as something irrelevant and insignificant. Like it's just something you do when you go to sleep. And they see it as a, um, they'll see a dream as a, like, they don't know what it is. That's what I'm saying. They, only, only until you spiritually awaken, or you start to have more awareness of self. I'm laughing because I was mentioning dreams just then, and then that got me triggered to say all what I just said. It's real, right? It's all consciousness. Like what I'm trying to say is that, you know what you call real, this world, like, you know, like what you think's real, like, so if I go like this, if I go like this on, the, on this table, you know, if I go like that, if I go, then you think that, that that's solid and that's real. Everything is spiritual energy. So when you go to sleep at night in your dream world and you're in a different state, it's not, it's just as real as this, as this, nothing's not real, right? Everything exists, right, you know, in, in terms of consciousness. Mary Rose says you are beautiful, or your eyes blue or green. They're a bit of both. Um, anyway, I'll shut up talking about that bit now. I mean, I'm probably boring people to death here. I mean, I was, in all fairness, I was boring myself a little bit just there. Even though I know what I'm talking about is my truth. It's con it's consciousness, but at the same time, it, I am. It, I'll speak about something a bit more uh, jolly, jollier. Uh, <laughs> Bella Pink, hi. I am Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. Hello. I was near death around six months ago. Wow. And health crisis. Yeah. Hold on, I'm lost in the comments here. Uh, I'm trying to catch up. Brain. The brain is just the avatar's computer, yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I know what you mean. Jarrod, I, yes, I know what you mean. That's correct. Yes. Hello, Amen. Or Iman. Amen, Iman. Hello. Bella Pink. Hello. Kaima or Kaima? Chaima? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. I'm not religious. I'm not one or the other. You look at life differently when you have a near death or when you have a spiritual experience happen to you. Yeah. You, you'll see that your whole life will get changed. Your whole sense of what life was will, 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 will be, you'll be shown, it, you will see something, you know, you'll, you'll start to like have a different sort of realization of what it means. Back to the US on a farm somewhere. Well, I want I want to live on a farm as well. Maybe if we if we go in together, Gillian, for joint cap with joint capital. <laughs> I'm joking about. I'm joking. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Why do people keep asking if I'm Muslim? I'm, I'm no, I'm not. I'm not any. I'm not Christian or Muslim or or anything. I do talk about the Bible, but I'm not religion. I'll talk about all holy scriptures because I know what they're truly saying. Well, I'm finding out more what they're all saying, um, and that's not an egotistic comment. But I'm not assigned to any religion because of that. I can, you can, everyone can read a holy scripture. Well, when I say read, reading it doesn't mean nothing. There, yeah, again, it's like I'm spiritually awakening, so I, I, I choose to look upon. I can connect the dots with holy scriptures and see. I can see beneath the words, and that's increasing. And you know. I don't it's not it's nothing to do with me being religious because you got to remember holy scriptures came first and then religion followed it's not the other way around um, anyway I won't talk about that anymore Oh, you grew up on a chicken egg farm. Yeah, yeah there's no cult mentality yet. The Matrix movie, yeah, that's my favourite movie. Yeah. I have a nice tongue. What? Is there nothing that you you don't like about me, Mary? Because everything you're com you're like everything about me you you seem to like. So there's got to be something that. You... <laughs> don't go on my appearance. Like go on, close your eyes and hear my voice. What does what does it feel like when you hear that? Because most, most likely I'll drive you absolutely crazy. So, <laughs> or most people here will drive you absolutely nut nuts. So, Hello, China, yeah, Algeria, Algeria. Better than Kansas, all states are better than Kansas. I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't be saying that to Clark Kent, though, aka Superman. He's from Kansas, isn't he? In the in the comic books, is, is that where he lives? No, he lives in Smallville. No, what is it? Uh, is that in Kansas or something? In the comics, is it Kansas? I don't. Know. Anyway, no, you're not boring. Um, you're very interesting to to listen to. It it is why we are here. Yeah. Yeah. Amiria, Mary, you look English. Well, I'm British, yeah. Oh yeah, I am. I'm British. I'm English. I'm Celtic. I'm Scottish. I've grown up Scottish, but I'm Irish in me. Celtic blood, you know, Celtic, which is just what I mean. What's Celtic blood? Even that's pro. Even that's information. The DNA sequencing, you know, and all this stuff. Everything is tied into information and like. Even like Deepak Chopra was speaking on that seminar, that lecture that I shared with people the other day. They talk. There was a scientist on the panel who was speaking about genes, DNA, and genes and stuff like that. And they've they've proven 
they've proven it that genes well they were talking about evolution and they said that evolution is not about adapting to an environment it, 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 like what darwin was saying they said evolution is actually an uh, is is a, it, it's it's linked to a change in consciousness By the way, everyone, this is a nasal dilator. It opens up your airwaves, like it goes like this to like that, you know, boom, to let more air. Where is the packaging for it? It's this. It's a, I, I would have been lost without this. That's what it's called. Right, hold on. Why is it out of focus? Oh, here we go. Improves your airflow during sleep, 76%. Keeps your mind fresh during the day. And this isn't just some bullshit packaging, marketing thing. This is, these work. These do work. It comes in a little, bl uh, like a little blue p uh, pouch. And put it in back inside. Close the lid, and that's it. I have to have it when I'm congested. I feel a bit congested today. No, let me think about it. Ha ha. What what did I say for you to say that? I can't remember what I said. Oh yeah, yeah. I said, is there any? Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I said, is there anything about me that you don't like? <laughs> oh, it feels good. I'm if I'm just listening to your voice like ASMR. MR. If I made ASMR videos, I know people would. That's something I could do on my channel. I know people will, will love that. I'm thinking of doing though. Seriously though, I'm thinking of doing. You know, I was speaking about, um, not yet though, but I, I was speaking about on my channel before about affirmation tapes and things like that. I know a lot about these tapes. I've used them. I know about how it affects the subconscious. I know how it penetrates your subconscious. I know how it will bring about the, 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 the change in you, like exactly what you affirm. Um, when I'm ready, I will do my own affirmation tapes. I will do a, uh, uh, oh. I will do something like that. My hair's gone wild again. The oh, oh she's retracted her message. <laughs> Um, if there's anything I don't like about you so far, but I did think of one thing, your farts. Well, what can I say? Dio says, ever hear of pre mayo Shen Hammer Pulse Acupuncture? No. Sorry, Dio. How about a meditative book? How about a meditative guide, but with you doing ASMR and affirmations? Um. Possibly. Possibly. Um. But I prefer to do affirmations. I prefer to, I mean, I could do both, but I prefer to do what I first said initially.
Probably look really strange with this thing on my nose. <laughs> Can't. It's helping me breathe, everyone. No, the blob says, "Are you a lady?" Oh, she's blocked him. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Pardon some one response was crawl I Pardon some one response was crawl E T I cried. The blob says it all. <laughs> the blob <laughs> All right, Gillian. I have a meeting in the morning. I subscribe, so I will be back when I can. Thank you very much, Gillian. We'll talk some more. I am usually more. Well, when I say focused, I'm more. I'm less tired and more less tired. Everything I'm saying, I'm, I keep con contradicting myself. So usually, I'm not as tired as I am today. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Um, but yes, Gillian. Yeah, stay tuned till next time. Okay. I'll, Feel, feel free to come back. Yeah, thank you very much. Take care. David Murphy says, Haha, that's a real one. <laughs> He's a ladies' man. Yeah. He's a ladies' man, Blob. That's right. That's right. Hi, everyone. The affirmation video has tired the past few days. And it snuck up on me and I had to stop. That's a sign that it's working. You listen to it for a couple of days. I listen to it for months. Uh, Dylan James, if I ever speak to Dylan James... Um, and I think it's, I, I can't, if I want to get, well, I can't, you know, I can manifest it, no problem, you know, or just go through the, go through the laws of man, the physical world, and just book a session with him. Either way, I will speak to Dylan James, and his tape is the best, on. I think, online. I think, I've not fully re reaped the rewards of the consequences of it yet, but it's coming. It's effective, it, 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 it's just, um... So I'm talking to Angelique here about this affirmation tape. It will bring up all this subconscious. It's bringing it. In, it's going to bring it up. Hello, Zyra. Sammy P. Sammy P. Sammy P. Oh. Sammy Jammy. Hold on a minute. Hold on again. Hold on, guys. Oh, I've got no strength today. I can't even do this. Why am I showing you my legs? Hold on a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Rush Tammy. Hello. Hello, everyone. Rush Tammy. I said your name wrong then. I'm sorry. Poked my eye earlier. That's why it's bulging a little bit to tease us, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a normal guy, everyone. Uh, but I'm then I'm not the a, a normal guy. Actually.
So when you start spiritually awakening, you, you release all the illusions. Kloop says, what is this? Hello. My name is... Um, I'm, 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 I'm just telling you what my channel is about now. In a very automated, robotic voice. Because I say it every five minutes. My name is Sam. And this channel is about consciousness and spiritual awareness. And that's it. Hello. <laughs> oh, you are actually... Uh, yeah. I don't know what that person's talking about, Theo. <laughs> no idea. She's lost me. Have you lost appetite during the purging? I felt like I felt weird in every way, Angelique, for week for months. Every way. Is it midnight there? Yes, yeah, coming to it. I think. I've got a filter on this screen by right now, by the way. If I take it off, it looks like... I just like it on because it just makes me look a bit more... It gives me like a... Because I feel a bit fatigued, it, it, it sort of makes me feel a bit better, like psychologically. It makes me feel a bit more... Jazzier, if that's the right word. If I take the filter off, I look like this. I still look great, but I'm just... I just... I don't know why I have it on. I don't know why. I just like it. It's a nice filter. A new American film. All right, Dio. Sorry. Sorry. Um, where are you from, Dio? It's a more AI-like. I'm not an AI. I'm real. This is a real deal. This is the real thing here. But then saying AI is not real is not actually true, is it? Everything's real. Neville Goddard said that. He said, everything in eternity exists. New York City. Okay, dear. How old are you? How old are you? Prove that you're not an AI. I'll take my pants off in a second and show you. No, I'm joking about. Mary, it's not going to happen. That was a joke. All right. I, know, I know everyone else here wants to see it. Angelique. Nah, she don't want to see it. Zyra, I know you do. You definitely do. All right. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just pissing about. Um, if you can imagine, it's possible. Absolutely. Absolutely, because what? Who are we to say things don't exist? You know, got me excited for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I, I sort of got myself excited there for a second. Oh. Hannah says, "Answer me." One second, guys. One second. Hold on. Pete is talking about his digestion. Hold on. You're a twin, Dio. All right, well, there's like 10, 10 conversations going on here at once. One second, everyone. This is getting interesting. We all, we all need to calm down. Just a, just a wee bit, as they'd say in Scotland, you know, a wee bit. I need to go to the toilet, the bathroom. Actually... I'll be back. Put my hat on. Oh, I've got a hole in it. Oh, no, I've got a hole in my hat. No, no, no. I feel like, I feel like the scene from Jurassic Park. You know, when, it, when the first one, the first movie where, where he helps the dinosaur come out of the egg. Come on, little one. Come on, little one. 
ジャワン、ルートル。<笑>ダクチュジャン・ハーモンド、ジュラシック・パーク。All I could say was, if I would speak to that fictional character from Jurassic Park, I'd say to him, You're a nice bloke. You had a great idea, but you completely fucked it up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great intention, but hor- horribly executed. There's people dying all over the shop. To go downstairs. I can't be fucked. Oh. 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 I ain't taking nothing off. <laughs> Nothing off. Not tonight, anyway. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> Put the filter back on, though. There we go. It just adds a. Di- look, if I take it off and on, look, look at this. See the difference? There's this one. There's this one. There's that one. Don't like that one. There's that one. That's the one I use. It's called Crush. Crush. It's glow. There's this one. That one. That one. That one. Whee! I like bubbles. There's dance party. I really like this one. Dance party. Dream. This one's called dream. Dream, dream. Dream, dream, dream. Dreamy, am I dream? Am I dreamy enough for you? <laughs> All right, David. It's dinner time. Have a good night, Sam and everyone. David, thanks for being here. I'll speak to you soon. This is like a wild, wild west one. <whistles> oh, no, this is the wild west. This is the wild west. Oh, yes, I really like this one. This is great. I should be on a wanted poster. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need a cowboy hat. Do you know what? I'd like to have a cowboy hat. I really would. As I said, I really want to go to Texas. I've got a fascinate. I would really love the southern states. I've got a feeling I'd love to go. I'd love to be there. I would love to go see it. Have I got a cowboy hat of any type around here?、Uh, I think my dad might have one. I don't know. <laughs> I need a cowboy hat. Go 
your natural self looks better, does it? All right, yeah, I agree with you. I'll take that off. Right, this is there's no filter now. Absolutely none. Nitto. I look great either way. Cool. Oh, Hannah says I'm from Canada. Hello. Theo says I am a twin. <laughs> right to get serious now um, when you're purging you will feel strange like you will feel like you don't want to eat food you'll feel like you just want to allow the energy to flow up or flow and do what it's got to do so then you can resume back to your life like your your uh to what considered like, to your normal way of living, like you know, or to a normal way and eating and digesting food and things like that's normal. We need that to sustain our physicality here, you know what I mean? Um, when you're going through an emotional purge, you, your body will let you know, it, like it lets you know when it, it can't, you understand, like it, it will let you. It puts everything in like flight mode. When I say flight mode, but like um, <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. Maybe I'll, I'll find a way of prove that you are not an AI. <laughs> Should have said something silly to that here. <laughs> Sure, you look great with that. I don't know how yesterday someone said you were an AI, so I'm just joking around, yeah. I'm from the United Kingdom. What's the worst place you've been to? I don't know. I really did not like... I did not like New York City, but... But New York, maybe, might be okay. But in the centre of the city, I just thought it was the worst place I've been, but... Sorry to, no offense, Dio. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Where's that Pete? Pete was asking me about something. Where was it? Uh, was he talking to someone else? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. My name is Sam, sorry, and uh, my channel is about consciousness and spiritual awareness. I will do meditation, well I will do affirmation tapes eventually. I think it's obvious that I'm going to do that. Because where I've used them, I understand. I have an, I have a, I have an understanding of them. The American film. All oh, right, you were saying that your the local theater near you is 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 screening the new Kirsten Dunst film Civil War in a, in two hours. Yeah, I saw an interview with Kirsten Dunst here yeah, on tele television. I didn't watch it. I just saw her come up in in the news recently. So that must be what it's about. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy it if you're interested in that sort of thing. Thanks. You will lose appetite when you're purging. Like, not no. You might lose it for like you could lose it half a day, 
within a few hours. I mean, sometimes with me, I remember in the beginning I was purging a lot and it was worse, sir, and I was like not eating, not eating for like longer periods of time. Where I've been with the process now longer, and I've been with it so long where I, I've just sort of surrendered to it, so I just allow it to do what it's got to do to me. Now, when I do feel like I don't want to eat, like I could, for example, I could be warming up a, a meal in the in the microwave, and just after the meal is done to take out, where I was hungry prior to, you know, where I was hungry before, the second I take it out, I feel like an emotional purge happened, like something will spike. I'm purging all the time, but when I said emotional purge, I, I meant that it might spike and then I'll look at the food and I'll tell you what I can go from being hungry to not wanting to eat nothing but then I'll walk outside for five minutes and just like shake it off and then I'll go back and eat the food it's like that it's really like that it's, it can be strange but when you're purging intensely you won't want to eat nothing you, you just drink water you just drink fluids that that light's doing my eye. I might have to turn it off actually because I what what happened earlier was I poked my eye or something. <laughs> it's really hurting. <laughs> Hello everyone, who's here? So I'm from the United Kingdom, everyone, just to remind you all. Doesn't look like a finger coming out of that hat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was the only fans. <laughs> Can't send that hat to Sav now. I've got to send her a Leo instead. She absolutely loves me, that lady, that Savannah, that young teenager, that teenager from Canada. She's a really nice young lady. Uh, um, I'm not sending her that hat, that's mine. <laughs> I know I promised, I said I'd give it to her, but she said no, but, but no, it's, uh, all my clothes I have, they've got holes in them, my shirt, my jeans, my hat, everything, you know, I don't really give a shit, really, if it's got a hole in it, or, Doesn't matter, does it? The physical. I don't care. What's really the focal point is the or the attractive point in all this is the or the focal point is the is the inner world. That is where the power is, that is where the love is, you know, that is that is the key. That is, you know. Are you John Wick, bro? Yeah, I am. You caught me. How did you? Oh. <laughs> How now everyone wants to see him taking his pants off? Yeah, well that's not happen happening. So, uh, thanks everyone. Your natural self looks better. Thank you, Sammy P. Um, oh, I've read these comments already. Uh. uh I'll take your own text as uh, Probably not a good idea if I met you, Angelique, because you'd probably be hitting on you. So, uh, Dio, or you'd probably be hitting on me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm joking around. 
but it's good to e express your feelings. Uh, I had a terrible food infection for a month, so better listen to your stomach. Yeah, your body, listen to your body. Your body don't lie. It's a ref you know, your body is an instrument of your mind, or to be more specific, it's an instrument of your belief systems. Uh, the body goes where the, where the mind tells it to go, you know, or your consciousness will, you know what I mean? Upper East Side, West Greenwich Village, East Hampton. Upper East I don't think, I don't know if I went there. We, we went all over Manhattan and I don't know, I can't remember. I can't remember, but it was years ago, but. Someone said to me though, they said, when did you go to New York? I said, when I was a, when I was a teenager. I did. I went about 15 years ago, right? I was about 15 when I went. No, I wasn't even old enough to buy a drink, you know, to buy an alcoholic drink. <laughs> so, you know, you know what I mean? You, I, I, I get it. He said, now you're a grown man and you're an adult and, you know, you, <laughs> uh, it'll be different if you go back there, you know, meeting people and that. I went, true, you might like New York. You won't, you'll see it differently. You won't go do the same thing you did, you know. Yeah, true, but I still think New York City is a is a headache in terms of like Times Square and all that stuff. That is, I've got no interest in all that. I want to see real people. I want to see like the real, the uh, the real culture, you know. And I feel exists obviously in, in every state. There's a little niche area everywhere where there's true natives or locals or whatever. But I just found it very materialistic and fake, New York City, and it's, it's just, it just drove me mad. I went from Maine to Boston or Rhode Island, these are these states, all these other states up and down the East Coast. I can't remember the exact order geogra geographically. I know Boston was just before New York on, on the itinerary that we went on. But I liked each state or stop or port I liked them all, and then but when I got to New York, it was a complete like culture sh culture shock. It was a complete. Um, it is a concrete jungle. It really is. It's like it's not for me. Like going on how I speak, you know, people how how they know me and that. I'm not into the material world. I would never go to Dubai and all these places. I mean, no offense to the lady here who's from Dubai. I guess vague. I don't. That don't do nothing for me, all that stuff. It's not like I'm antisocial and, and I'm being boring or nothing like that. I just don't care. I'd rather go to India, as I keep saying, you know. I like places with feeling. I like to connect to people. You know what I mean? I don't care about all the materialist or superficial things, you know. I like materialism. Like, there's things I want that are materialistic. Why not? But I'm not a superficial person, you know what I mean? I'm not. But as someone did say to me, they said, Sam, you could like New York again now, going back. And true, he's absolutely probably right. But I want to see like the south of America, like the southern states. That's what I want to do. I'd like to do that. Are oh, you watching me from Saudi Arabia? Hello. Yeah, underwear, yeah. My underwear here, they call them pants. Like boxer shorts, br briefs, you know. But in America, you call what we call trousers pants. But you call it underwear, yeah, yeah. It's just the same. It's just different, different land, like different culture, cultural ways of saying things. Yeah, underwear is pants here, but you got mice at home to make a hole in them. Yeah. Former stepfather, main home, London, home in Mayfair, near, near High Park. Oh, wow. I see, I see. Yeah, not that I'm being biased here, because obviously I live in London, but... I think London's totally better than New York. But that's subjective, that's just an opinion. I don't think London's a huge headache. Like, it's busy, 
but you're not swamped in buildings like you're not swamped in I don't know how to explain it it's just it's different it's just a different it's, it's, of course it's different you know no I prefer London like But I will be, and yeah, when you never, you never know. I have to go walk my dog, we'll have a nice night, Sam and everyone else. Good night, Mary. It was too busy for me, in my opinion, yeah. Angelique, if you're talking about New York, that's exactly what I thought as well. And, you, and you're stuck in, like, huge concrete jungle, like, you, you feel like you're in a, it almost feels like you're in a, like, a simulation, like, like a... It feels proper weird. It does feel really strange. I don't know how to explain it. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It just felt odd. But maybe I'm being nit, nitpicky. I don't know. London's not like that. We have tall buildings in London. You have like the the finance sector. Like they call it Canary Wharf. Canary Wharf. And, um, yes, there's some high rises there. There's some things like that, but they're elo eloquently put there. You know, like imagine, imagine like, for, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like from imagine in London, there's about, I don't know how many exactly, but imagine there's about maximum 30 high rise buildings and they're scattered all around London. And that's, yeah. I don't think that there is that many, but like, well, there probably is actually about 30 or there, probably, there might be more, but it's not, it's not as many as New York, right? Where there's about 30 high rises in London, there's about 10,000 in New York. <laughs> Every single building is like, you have to go like this to see the top of it. Like, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to like get a telescope and look up to see if you can see the top floor, and you're and you're like, you're like a little ant. It just feels a bit. You feel suffocated in, in concrete, like it, you literally like that song, like what Alicia Keys said, you know, concrete jungle. You know, it really is like that, and I just didn't like it. I did, didn't like that at all. I really like, I really like Maine. Main, M-A-I-N-E, you know, um, that was really beautiful there, I thought, uh, from what I see of it, um, it was nice. I'm like, I quite like Boston as well, I thought that was nice. Rhode Island, and I thought it was nice, I just thought it was, anyway, I'll stop talking about that now, so, <laughs> Liv says I was live on I was live day before yesterday. Okay, Liv. Did you visit the Guggenheim or the Metropolitan Opera? No. Uh no. We did go inside it. I think we went past the uh, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, Texas is huge, yeah. Boston and Maine, lovely, yeah. It was. Rostami, hello, again. Boston was nice, yeah. It was quieter than New York. It was different to New York, you know. I thought it was nice. I liked Canada as well, though, a lot. Because what I did, we went to Canada. 
uh, I can't remember where we, where we went first, whether it was Montreal or Quebec um, it, or one of the other first. I can't remember where it was. And uh, I think we flew to Montreal and then we got an internal flight to Quebec. Um, and then we toured some of the Canadian places up there, like Nova Scotia and other places. I can't remember, Halifax, Charlottetown or something like that. I can't remember where that is. Uh, and a couple of other places that I can't remember. And then we went, obviously, down the eastern seaboard. We started from the first part, you know, where America, American state, uh, Rhode Island or Maine or whatever that is. I can't remember what it was. But. And then we worked our way down to Boston. And then finally we, we, we finished in New York. It was an experience, and I would like to go back to America, yeah, I would. To the south, though, yeah. Nashville, yeah. I'd love to go to Nashville and all that. You know, I was talking about all the music and all that old, that southern vibe, you know. Going to see some live music in a band, or like in, a, in, in, a, in like a live music bar. I want to do all that. I, I like all that, you know, I love all that. You've been to India, which places you know? I've not been to India yet, but I want to go. But even out in India, there's a lot of things going on out there that, you know, that's a bit... Mm. You Will you see the eclipse tomorrow? I don't know. I'll probably be in. I'll probably be sleeping. <laughs> Tell me your type of place. You lived in Tennessee. Is that Tennessee? T N for three years. You've been to India? No, I know of some places in India. Tell me your type of place. Film time, please be well all. Okay, Dio. Thank you. Um, I want to go to India, like, but it's just, there's so much, there's a lot of, like, fraud and scamming and things that take place there, and it's not all like that, but there's, like, what I'm trying to say is, is that I've, I've come recently to the awareness that there's, if you're a tourist coming to India, like, you, you really get pounced on, you get targeted, like, when I say, it's like, you get, um, it, it's pretty, like, Unbelievable what what I've seen happen to tourists. Um, uh, I'd like, but I want to come to India like to see the culture, to see some of the people, connect with like the true Indian culture and mountains, pop maybe beaches. I'm not no, I'm not interested in temples. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I want to come for the food, obviously, um, to see the people. You know what I mean. Hello, hi there. It's just, yeah, it's just what it is, Sammy. It's just like, I've been told that you, it's best that you make some connections prior or like before coming to India. So then at least you can meet someone and go there. When you go there, you can meet them. For them to give you some advice, who to who to talk to, who not to talk to, you know, don't do this, do that, you know, guidance, you know, um, depends on what state I'm going to, whether it's Delhi or Mumbai or, or I don't know, it depends, you know, Nepal, it depends. Bro, 
Oh man, I'm getting tired here. <sighs> South and North East is really good. So where do you live, Sammy? Whereabouts are you from? Do you speak Hindi? Are you Hindi? Or Muslim or doesn't matter, but I just wanna know. <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me. Do you have a tattoo on your shoulder? Not trying to be weird, I just like tattoos. Amari. I've got tattoos on my arms. They're Celtic tattoos, like their names. One says Rum Rig. Hold on, let me put the light on. I've put the crush filter back on, by the way, look. It helps with the light. I think why the reason why I use that filter is because it helps with the light. So it says rum rig. Hold on. Which is the name of my favourite band who, who come from Scotland. It's a Celtic rock. They were a Celtic rock band who lived in the Highlands of Scotland. Or, or sorry, they came from the Highlands. Most of the band did. It's, it's Celtic music. They spoke English, but it's Celtic and English music. And the other tattoo I have is this. Again, it's a Celtic uh, writing language. It says Alba Gibra, which means Scotland forever. So there you go. I'll turn that filter off now. And then you're near the Mumbai. I changed my profile picture, but I'm roses. Roses? Do I know you? No. Thank you, lovely Anjali. Uh, I've watched you before. You should be able to remember me. I don't remember you, sorry. Sammy says, I'm from Western part of India near Mumbai. No, Hindi. I made bir uh, biryani today. I made it. Like, here, where I live, I made it. It came out, it came out really nice, actually. Chicken biryani, I mean. Really nice. Mumbai. Hmm. This is the thing, Sammy. You know, I want to come to India. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go. I mean, I've got some ideas, but I need to. Do you understand what I mean? There is, there is. It's not as. It's, it, you, you know, if you just go to somewhere right, being unprepared, not that you need to be fully prepared, but just have some. You know, it could be dangerous. It could, it could be like. You know, you could be putting yourself into shit, you know. I want to go, and but I know that I'll meet challenges and I'll have things happen to me, but, but I want to be able to flow, you know. And I, I'm just saying that it'd be nice to like know people prior to going out there or to get some connections with people. It would be nice. Hmm. You got tattoos, Angelique. I'm not gonna say anything else to that. So. <laughs> Everything I say to you is like, <sighs> seems rush Tammy. My profile picture was Rose. A great rose, the day you went to get tea and talked about, like, spirits. A great rose. Maybe, I remember, you. Yeah. Maybe. 
chicken. It was chicken, Sammy. Yeah. Hey, well, you want you want you just one side of the story. Mostly Western media always shows South Asia in bad light. It's not just that. It, there's this guy on YouTube. His name's Carl Rock. You've probably heard of him. Maybe he goes around YouTube. He goes around India. He lives in India. He's married to an Indian woman. And he lives there, and um, he makes loads of videos on how to experience India in the best way possible. And a lot of his videos were dedicated to exposing like fraud and scammers, and and he and it's not Western media; it's 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 real shit that he's capturing on camera. He's capturing it on film. I saw you see him doing it. The the things they'll try and do over there to try and get money off people. If I said something now on this live stream, like you wouldn't believe me, but it does take place over there. I don't. I want. I, I want to say it, but I won't. I don't want. I can't be bothered. I don't, I don't have the energy. But it's just unbelievable some of the stuff that goes on out there to tourists. It doesn't bother me, but it's just making connections. That's what I care about in India, you know, or anywhere, you know. Uh. Oh, oh man! Hello, Tyler. Yep. Yes, I do four of them. Okay. Sammy says I can understand, but if you plan well and st and street smart, yep, you'll be fine. India is not for beginners. That's what he said. That's exactly what he said. Yeah, I think his wife's Pakistani. Is Haryana, is that Pakistan? Yeah. Um, his wife's Pakistani, I think he said. Um, but she's white. She's like a Cauc she's, she's like a Caucasian Pakistani lady. Um, just saying, you know, she's... And, yeah... You understand what I mean, Sammy? Yeah, it's not. If you're street smart, you'll be fine. But India's not for for beginners. Yeah. I thought he said his wife from Pakistan. He said it like mom. You know, Carl Rock. Yeah. Oh, she's an albino. What? Go to sleep. <laughs> Ross Tommy. I want to go to sleep, yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to be polite and stay and speak to my viewers a bit longer, a little bit longer. I wanna to go to my bed. My very sexy bed. My very sexy, sexy, sexy. <laughs> it is a nice bed very comfortable yeah I am tired I will, I will, I'll be gone in a minute yeah I'll be gone but, but yeah um, you're absolutely right what you're saying there it's um, if you're street smart you'll be fine yeah <laughs> I agree I agree Even real. There's 15 people in the live stream, so it so it says, "Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel." Of course, I will. If anywhere I go, I'll be making. I'll take my YouTube with me. YouTube will be coming with me, yeah. We're, so we're, you live in Mumbai, yeah? Western part of India. Near Mumbai, huh? You'll get millions of views then. <laughs> That's the thing. They, they will, that's the thing, Sammy, right? That any any white man who goes there, well, I want to say white man, 
any tourist who goes there, like people look at, they treat them like they're royal royalty. Like what, when I say royalty, but they they just go absolutely fucking crazy over them. You know? Can you imagine if I came to India? Do you know what I mean? Not that I'm trying to be a big head here. You know? I just think it's I'm, it's gonna cause me. It, it might cause me a bit of inconvenience, right? If you know what I mean. <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. You know, I hope I am, you know. Because it would be like pressure on me, you know what I mean? It would be like that. British colonialism. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam, and this channel is about consciousness and spiritual awareness. I speak about Twin Flames as well, uh, from my experience as well, yeah. I'm just talking to people in the comment section right now, um, answering some questions. Talking about India, and visiting India one day. I would get millions of views, probably. You never know, like, people, you know, through, through word of mouth. And I've got a lot of Indian subscribers anyway, Sammy. Like, there's a lot on my channel that are from India. It's mainly America. Um, but there's a lot of Indian Indian people here. I'd love to come. I mean, it's, it's part of my family as well. Like, India is part of my... It's been brought into my family, yeah. My granddad was from Mumbai, uh, when the British Empire was there. So I know a lot about all that British Empire stuff. <laughs> Where would I stay? I don't want to go into hotels and stuff like that, you know. Airbnbs and things like that would be a good good choice, probably. I'm not really a fan of going into hostels and stuff. Um, it depends. It all depends. It depends, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, when I'm ready to come to India. When I feel better, you know, with myself, you know. But yeah, my channel is about twin, uh, well, spiritual awareness, uh, consciousness. People, does anyone have a final question for me before I go? Oh, Daniel, Paul, hello, Dan. I'm not staying on long, Dan, because I've been on here for like two and a half hours and I feel really tired. Uh, but it's nice to see you, Dan. Do you live in the UK, Dan? Or are you American? I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, are you from South Africa? Or so? I can't remember where you said. Oh, good night, Angelique. Yeah, Birmingham, yeah, that's it, UK, I thought you were from the UK, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm heading off, Dan, yeah, sorry, man, sorry, mate, uh, I'm just really tired, man, yeah. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I'll chat again. Going to take a break from videos, though. The video's too tired. All right, Angelique, just take it easy, okay? Thanks.
Sammy said, see you night, see you, yep, night. And uh, Rostami says, I am Iranian. Oh. Okay. Well, listen up, everyone. Um, thanks for being here. Um, I'm going to be going now because it's been quite a long live stream. Well, say it, I've been on live streams that have been double the length of this one. Uh, well, not double, but four hours was my longest one. Um, really long, but anyway. It is what it is. Um, some days it's longer, some days it's less. Uh, depends on how I feel, but... Anyway, thanks for watching me, everyone, and uh, I'll see you next time. See you then. Bye.